Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I have filmed a video on here because last time I was back at Disney doing the Disney College program and now I'm back here in my home, which is very far away from Disney unfortunately, but I'm still repping. Don't you worry, still repping my Disney. I decided that I wanted to do another Day in the Life of a Party Princess video because I haven't done one of those in a really long time. I've never been this queen on the channel before, so along with my sister, who's going to be the sister of the queen today, if you're Catching my drift. And yeah, this may give you a hint too. You know, this wonderful mug. I went ahead and washed my face and I'm gonna start getting ready. So I guess I'll kind of update y'all on what's been happening. Since I've been back, I've just been basically doing nothing because my family were actually going back to Disney this month and I figured it would be best not to get a job because like getting a job right out of the Disney College program and then asking for a week off would not be a good thing. So I was like, I'll just take a long break. From the end of August all the way up to now, I haven't been working except doing the princess parties. I ended up watching the entirety of Friends. It's a long time ago I started watching it and then I stopped watching it for whatever reason and then I made it my mission to watch the entirety of it because it's a classic show. So once I finally finished it all, I started watching Criminal Minds again because that's another one of the shows that I'd started, but I hadn't finished. I've been reading. It's called the Selection Series. I don't know if some of y'all have heard it. Yeah, I've been reading because in the past, I've never been much of a reader, but it's like ever since COVID, I was like, why not start reading? Because I'm like, I have nothing else to do. So why not do something good for my brain instead of just sit in front of TV all day? Yeah, nothing much has really happened, but I'm just so glad I've been able to spend this time with my family because we get together every week and enjoy our time together. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready ready and then I will update you all what's gonna happen later. So I'm trying to be very safe and cautious while I do this because I'm on the road now. I finished getting all my makeup done and my hair braided because that's how it's able to fit into the wigs is you have to braid it and then pin it up and all that jazz. Basically I'm on the way to where we get ready. Well first we're I'm going by Chick-fil-A my favorite place to pick up some lunch because we my sister and I really won't have time to eat so I'm picking up lunch for both of us and then I'm gonna go to headquarters and get ready and then we'll head to the party first we have to do a FaceTime it's just letting the kid know that we're headed towards her and we're excited to see her and whatnot we'll be driving and it's about an hour away so it's pretty far so yeah excited I will probably update y'all more whenever I see my sister because it'll be more exciting then <sighs> got done with Chick-fil-A eating it I'm at a gas station I have my sister's food in here so she's all ready to go because she has a party before so she wouldn't have time to eat now I'm just gonna chill a bit and then head to HQ to get ready. Alright, here it is. The Snow Queen in all her glory. And I have a special guest. My sister! Ice Princess Extraordinaire. Yes. Driving in the, the flesh. Yes, the younger sister driving the car. Even though in real life we're the youngest. We're she's six older. years old. Yeah, but people think we're the same age. <laughs> That just means that you look old and I look young. Hey, I'm the tool of my age, so that's why. We're on our way. Like I was telling y'all earlier, it's like an hour away. In the meantime, we're gonna, well, we've been talking about the details of the party, and we went ahead and FaceTimed the birthday girl. She was so sweet. She was showing us all her jewelry, what she has, and a lot of it's frozen themed, of course. And she was wearing an Elsa dress, and she was very quiet. So we're hoping once we get there that she'll open up and where her friends there will be very extroverted and want to talk to us. Usually that's how it is sometimes. If the birthday girl is shy at first, she'll open up. If not, she's just quiet at the whole party. Yeah, we're going to be there for an hour and a half, so she's got an hour and a half. Yep. To talk to us. Yeah. We're going to give y'all a little taste of what the party's going to be like.
wish would go away. Oh. Oh. Are you here to distract me so I make a big mistake? Get to the because we were outside the whole time floating. I thought it was going to be indoors. 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 Take it away, Penny. But, <laughs> but it was outdoors, so we were dying. Sarah ended up taking the cloak off. Yes. That's too much, darling. Too much. We yeah. got there and contacted the party who was ready for us to come in. And no, like immediately, we parked like in front of the house, like behind something, and I guess they saw us but she came she's like you can park in the driveway and I was like I know well we still like nine minutes before but okay I know that's what I like to do is like I mean of course get there early enough but I like to have time to myself and get myself prepared for the party went in we, we realized it was gonna be outside we're like uh, but it was pretty set up they had a happy birthday sign outside their backyard gave her the rose told her to contact us through the rose then we read the story and I focus too much detail on the story. She uh, spent a lot of time on the story. Yeah. What I do is I like to practice beforehand on the story because the story is what I always struggle with in anything. That's why I make sure to get every detail, but that necessarily is the best thing because it takes up more time and the kids the are- attention spans. Yeah. Small. So I gotta find the happy medium. So after we did that, we sang the songs. Some things never change and into the unknown. They loved them. They were good talkers. Yes. We did the glitter wishes. We did a stamp, like it was a snowflake stamp, and then the glitter, the ice magic. We taught them how to be kind, have manners, sipping tea, curtsying, and then we did the princess dance, which is always a lot of fun. We played hot potato, so Olaf, our little stuffed Olaf, we passed him around. So the birthday girl ended up winning, and we gave her a little rose that she's rigged. Like, yeah. Good corsage you can wear on your wrist. And the other kids, they just got stickers. We did the crown crafts, so Sarah took care of that. And then I did the mini makeovers. Each of them, it was usually in the past, they all want the same eyeshadow color, but this time it was like a different color for each girl. I was like, okay, variety. We love it. And then we did the coronation ceremony, crowned her the princess, took pictures, second happy birthday. And her cake was so cool because it was like three tiered. It was Frozen 2 themed. I made mean, my coronation outfit, like my, my coronation, my yeah. queen dress. Right. It was fun. We're very tired. Yes. But it was well worth it. We're on our way back. I wanted to thank you all for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time.